Hello my beloved viewers, welcome back to my channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel VBA programming course that is running into my channel. Friends, in today's video we are going to learn how to enable the developer mode in Excel workbook. Then we will learn what is macro, how to use it, how it exactly looks like and how to save the macro enabled worksheet in your system. So without talking much, let's get back to the point and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Here you can learn the Microsoft Excel VBA from the beginning. So let's start. At first in my Excel worksheet you can see a developer tab here. So how to enable it? Just right click anywhere in this area you will find these three options then go to customize quick access toolbar you will have this pop-up window right or you can have this by clicking on this office button then go to excel options here you will find this window again so go to then popular tab and click on this one show developer tab in ribbon click on ok here it will be enabled in your worksheet right so let's check how to enable a macro and what is a macro what is macro a macro is a recorder you can say in simple language that records whatever you are doing in your workbook and after recording it when you save it then whenever you need the recorded item it will perform exactly how you have recorded that so what you have to do at first is go to the developer tab then here in the code block you can find this option that is record macro you can see the hint that is record a macro each of the commands you perform will be saved into a macro so that you can play them back again so let's record a macro at first after clicking on recording macro here a pop-up window will open where you need to enter your macro name I am putting ABC just to show you and here you can have a shortcut key as I am typing shift V so that whenever I press Control shift and V on my keyboard the macro will run automatically right so after that select this one you can type any description so that anyone can understand reading your descriptions click on ok then look at here it is recording already so check my steps carefully I am zooming in this sheet then typing my channel's name that is technical portal right then I am entering today's date that is 5 8 2019 and today's time right so I would like to share a keyboard shortcut for you that whenever you press on control shift look at here in the on screen keyboard control shift and semicolon it will enter the time automatically look at here in this cell whenever I type on control shift then this one it will enter the time automatically and when click on control and semicolon again it will enter the date that is current date and current time right so after that stop recording the macro you can do it from here or you can just click on stop recording from the developer tab then code block right so now your macro has been recorded go to any of the sheet like I am going to the sheet 3 look at here it is normal like this you can see your macros from here you can press also alt F8 from your keyboard so look at here we have saved it named as ABC and it is showing a macro then if you run it look carefully what happens look at here whatever you have recorded is automatically filled up in this sheet isn't it interesting friends so your work pressure will be automatically lower right so after recording your macros if you don't save it in a proper macro worksheet your whole activity will be not saved 
keep it in your mind whenever you save this macro recorded sheet you need to select this option look at here after clicking ctrl s when this option comes in a pop-up window here you have to select any name select your destination then here save as type you have to select excel macro enabled workbook right then save it then it will be saved as a macro enabled workbook so in this short video that's all for today friends in my next video i'll be come soon with all about macros that will check our macros how it actually looks like then we'll go through the macros and we will examine that macro then we are going to learn how to modify the macro and we'll also cover up in the next video that what is macro security and we are going to learn more about macro security in that video so wait till that video comes till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and stay tuned